whenever you are thinking it is with respect to something that may happen in future or something that you need to do in future and then there are various options with possibilities some of those possibilities appear uh, gainful to you some appear harmful why not uh, simply do what needs to be done right now first of all that will take away the needlessly vacant mind space you will not be left with that much uh, opportunity to worry and secondly when you indulge in action many of the alternatives that uh, you were able to imagine about the future those alternatives just disappear the worst thing is to postpone action and keep worrying or keep thinking hmm? uh, overthinking as you said right so whenever you find yourself in that mode the best thing is to ask yourself isn't there something that i need to be rather doing at this moment not thinking doing shouldn't my energy be rather flowing into some right and constructive action at this moment and once your energy starts flowing in that direction there is less and less space energy and opportunity available to needlessly worry see thought obviously is very useful one needs to have the faculty to think but thinking must conclude in understanding and action action includes the option to not act at all in the light of understanding in the light of understanding you may decide to act you may decide not to act so thought is not an end in itself thought is a means you want thought to end you use thought so that it comes to a conclusion hmm? now if you're not letting thought result in something instead thought has uh, become uh, a self serving inner mechanism then thought is of no use so do think but ask yourself what is emerging out of my thinking is my thinking really leading to understanding or action or is thinking just leading to more thinking hmm? and if you find that thinking is leading to more thinking then you need to start acting have you noticed this that when you act and you put everything that you have in the in the action that appears right to you hmm? then there is not much space left to wonder or despair right so so i'm not saying that one must indulge in um, action without thought right one i'm not saying that one needs to become mindless or thoughtless what i'm saying is that one needs to know the proper place of thought and action we think so that we understand don't we if if you are for example working on a mathematics equation why do you follow all the steps let's say let's say solving the equation involves some 14 steps you follow the 14 steps so that after the 14th one you come to something right what if the way you are proceeding with the equation involves an endless number of steps 
that lead to nothing and and worse still they are uh, iterative in nature hmm? as if there is there is a circular motion going on the same steps in some form or the other are uh, getting repeated one after the other we don't want that to happen so when you see that now thought or the process of thinking has entered that phase where it has become cyclic or iterative that's when you need to say enough of thinking because now thinking is not yielding me anything now thinking has just become circular or cyclic or iterative now i need to do something enough of thinking so there is space for thought there is space for action and one needs to be attentive towards both of these um so so uh, another issue that i generally face is that uh, in the morning when i get up i generally have a to do list made ki ha aaj mujhe ye ye cheeze karni hai so uh, when that list becomes too long i i kind of messes with my mind and i stop doing things and rather than that i end up procrastinating as you mentioned तो दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस विद मी लाइक मुझे लगता है कि अगर मैं प्लानिंग नहीं करूंगी चीजें की तो फिर आई एंड अप डूइंग समथिंग रैंडम बट व्हेन आई सिट टू प्लान आउट थिंग्स आई एंड अप वेस्टिंग टू मच टाइम जस्ट प्लानिंग एंड थिंकिंग एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ यू नो एक्चुअली डूइंग व्हाट आई एम सपोज्ड टू डू सो इज देयर एनी वे दैट आई कैन स्टॉप माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम इंडल्जिंग इन ऑल दिस सी लिस्टिंग मस्ट नेसेसरीली इन्वॉल्व प्रायोरिटाइजिंग एज़ वेल you cannot list down 22 tasks without assigning them a priority level hmm and 22 is a small number think of someone who might have 200 things to take care of hmm if you just list down 200 things without knowing which one is more important or valuable or urgent then you simply get overwhelmed 200 is a large number right so when you when you make such a list also segment the list a b c d a is the most urgent or the critical section then b then c then d and even within a let's say if there are four or five items then you need to accord them priority right you need to have something within that that uh, knows how to value rightly so give them values all right so thank you sir